In this video, we're going to continue to show you the special relationships between binary and other bases. In this case, this is base 8 to binary, or the octal base to base 2. And we have a number 471 in base 8, and what we're going to convert it into is base 2. Let's see how to do this. We write out a positional chart. Now, this is a different chart than what we've looked at in the past. And I'll tell you more about the chart in just a second. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to put each digit of the number that we're going to convert beneath three slots that are going to show the number in binary. Now, the reason why we have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd is that gives us every option of 0 to 7, and therefore every digit inside of base 8. So after we've divided them into groups of 3, and we've done 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and repeated that sequence as many digits as we need to. For each digit, we repeat it three times. And then what we're going to do is we're going to ask ourselves, what goes into this number without going over? And so 4 does not go into this number, 2 does not go into this number, 1 does, highlight 1, put zeros in the other place, and then we're going to go on to the next number. When we go on to the next number, 7, we're going to say, what goes into 7? Well, 4 goes into 7, 2, and then 1. And so we use all of the digits, which makes sense because it's the highest number in the base. So 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. And then we do the same thing with the last one, which is going to be a 4. And we're just going to use the first one and add zeros right there. And then what we have accomplished is... We take these numbers, which are now in base 2, write them out together, and we say 471 in base 8 is 1001111001 in base 2. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. We're going to take the digits 632 and convert it from base 8 into base 2. So we write out the digits, write three columns on top of the digit with a sequence of 2 to the power of 0 to 2 to the power of 2. And then we ask ourselves, what digit goes into the number without going over? In this case, 2. We place a 1 there, put zeros in the other spot. 3, we're going to use the 2 and 1. And so we have two ones there. We add a 0. And then 6, we put 1s beneath the 4 and 2 and add a 0. So therefore, 632 in base 8 is 1100111010 in base 2. And this is a simple way to convert octal into binary, or base 8 into base 2. The important thing to remember is writing out each digit and placing the three columns on top of it, starting with 2 to the power of 0 all the way to 2 to the power of 2.